Briggs Listening, Intermediate, 250. Level 3. Published and copyrighted by Sahwe Pyongnon Briggs Education. Actual Test 2. A. Check vocabularies. You will hear a bell sound during each dialogue. Choose the appropriate word to complete each sentence. Number 1. I'm so impressed that you are studying so hard. I'm... To win the scholarship this year, you just wait and see. Number 2. I heard you can speak English and Spanish. Yes, I'm... For now, I want to learn Chinese, too. Number three. How was the Jonas Brothers concert? You must have been excited because you are a big fan of them. Absolutely. It's hard to describe it. My love for them is beyond... B. Describe. Listen to the following dialogues, then choose the picture that best answers the question for each dialogue. Number four. What brought you here? You look very sick. My left foot got hurt badly while I was running. Look at this. Oh, it's really swollen. You need to take an x-ray first. Number five. Look at this fossil. It's obviously a dinosaur's wing. I don't think so. It looks like a foot, just like we saw in the textbook. Not really. Can't you see this fan-shaped trace? C. Respond. Listen to the following dialogues, then choose the best response for each last statement. Number 6. What's the matter with you? You look so gloomy. Yesterday, I broke my neighbor's window and ran away. I should have apologized. Yes, you should have. So what are you going to do? I'll go and apologize, but I'm afraid of going there by myself. Can you come with me? Number 7. I can't stand that noise anymore. I'm going to go complain about it. Please, calm down. They asked us to excuse their party earlier in the afternoon. But enough is enough. It's a basic courtesy to try to be quiet at midnight. Before you go, keep in mind we're going to have a party tomorrow, too. D. Comprehend. Listen to the following dialogues or passages. Then choose the best answers. Two to three questions for each talk. Numbers eight and nine. Mrs. Bank, I'm having difficulty writing the essay assignment. Hmm, let's see how I can help you. Did you already choose a topic? Yes, ma'am, but I don't know where to start. I want to write about the environment. The environment itself might be too broad for a four-page essay. Be more specific. For example, preserving nature, kinds of environment problems, or environmental policies, etc. Hmm. Writing about environmental policies sounds like a good idea. I write about that for my essay. Thank you. Numbers 10 and 11. I'm not in right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Hello, Mr. Dawson. This is ATK Travel Agency. You asked for a flight confirmation when you booked the ticket. Your flight is tomorrow on the 5th of March. The boarding time will be at 5 p.m. at gate 28. Oh, I'm afraid I've made a mistake. Yesterday was your flight day. I truly hope you took the flight yesterday as in the schedule. Well, I hope you had a safe flight and are enjoying your trip. Please use our travel agency again. Thank you. Numbers 12 and 13. We need to talk about house chores, Sam. Here we go again. What is it this time? How many times do I have to ask you to clean the bathroom twice a day? We made an agreement. I remember the agreement, too. I think it's too much. Just once a day is enough. I don't agree. We agreed before becoming roommates that I would do the cooking and you would do the cleaning. 
Fine, I'll do it. I can't figure you out about that, though. Numbers 14 to 16. I have been really stressed out these days. Life hasn't been on my side. So I asked for some advice from my mentor. He told me not to complain, but that's not really that helpful. Everybody knows that. So I explained my situation. I have three reports to submit this week, and my parents are coming to visit my house tomorrow, but my place is too messy, and the water pipe is broken. In addition, my boyfriend and I broke up last night. After he listened to me, he made a sad face and gave me some golden advice. He said I need to relax a little bit by listening to music or doing yoga. Also, he told me to make a list of all the things I have to do and put them in order from the most important and to the least. But since I'm not good at making decisions, making the list became another cause of stress.